Hey guys, welcome back to Kali Plans. It's me again, Mark. And for this video, I wanted to show you my plans journey. So I'm, I've been always wanting to make, I've always wanted to make a series of videos about my plant journeys, about how I acclimate my plants, but I can't seem to get it work. So today I got a new, uh, so this uh, time around, I've got a new batch of plants that I wanted to show you how I'm going to be caring for them. Through, I'm going to take you through repotting, through acclimating, and basically all around care for my plants so here we are at the greenhouse so i'm gonna be showing you the plants that i recently uh, purchased you might have seen it before so these are the new plants that i have my lawi my um, romeo and this fuzzy fuzzy succulents so i've been acclimating their them there at the balcony now it's pretty shaded there but i wanted to give them more sun so i moved them here so now what I want to do is I'm going to be choosing the pots for them. I'll show you how I choose my pots for each and later on I'm going to be showing you how I make my potting mix. Okay, so here they are. Here is our um, Romeo, our Lawi. Um, I've chosen clay pots for them, also our rosette style, Caverias is our chihuahuanensis, it's, got, it's gotten more mushy leaves, I hope it doesn't uh, spread a lot even more, spread a lot even more, here is our dusty rose, looking still alive, yes, here they are, so for the taller ones I've chosen taller pots, and for the shorter ones, I've, I've chosen shallow pots. Okay, now I've a lot of leaves drop, especially from this uh, Echeveria. So it's kind of, I think it's kind of sensitive, but as long as the uh, center set is intact, then it has chances of survival. So it's, it's already mushy here. Okay. So this one, it's big size. Uh, I think will help with it staying alive even if it drops a few leaves but okay, so it's getting really hot so my only concern with the bigger type uh, succulents the ones that you buy that are already big in size when you buy them they have a lot of water in them so they won't need to be watered as much compared to smaller succulents so that's what I found out so since they are naturally uh, bigger, they have more water storages, so they might need a lot more time before you water them again. So that's what I'm going to be doing with these succulents because they're big sizes, because of their big sizes. So I won't be watering them much. So I think it's, it kind of helps um, with those who are still learning about succulents. kind of helps if you're starting out with big succulents because they can handle a lot more um, negligence compared to smaller succulents. So now I'm going to be doing my potty mix for these plants and I'm going to be showing you how I do that. Also, I'm going to be washing the pots here. So some of them are still dirty. The clay pots here are still dirty. So I'm going to be washing those and I'm going to be making a potty mix and I'm going to show you how I'm going to be um, repotting them. But first, since it's too hot, I think I'm going to be looking for a spot here that will protect them from excess heat because it's too hot in here. Hey guys, so we're back. So here are the pots that I recently washed. You can see it's very windy today. So I'm just gonna bring these pots back to the greenhouse and then we're gonna be planting our succulents today. Actually, I've had them drying for about a day, but yeah, today's the day that I'm gonna be planting them. So let's go. So I think we're gonna be 
uh, repotting them by order of which I unbox them. So we're gonna start with the Lawi and the Romeo first. So this next plant is the albicans and I really wanted to buy an albicans because it's a good addition to my elegance uh, collection, to my elegance hybrids collection. This is actually a related plant to elegance. The next plant is our Chaveria Dusty Rose. This is a big size succulent. So I really wanted to get this plant because it reminds me of a bigger imbricata but it's got some more thicker leaves than the embricata and a more glaucous, more bluish coloration. So this next plant is our Calancho Tomentosa and this is a freebie from our seller uh, Mam Nieves uh, Fernandez, I believe, of um, Mountain Harvest Succulents. The next plant is this fuzzy echeveria so it's got a lot of yellowing on the leaves but i'm hoping that this will recover soon okay it's already a very big clump Next plant is this really stressed Cheveria. I hope that it survives acclimating. So it dropped a lot of leaves. But remember, don't hesitate to call on me for anything. Like you said, a human being, I want to make you take that chance. Things have been different from the evidence of that LD. I've never met anyone quite like her before. So this will be the next plant, our other Pulvinata echeveria. You can see it dropped a lot of leaves but a lot of the leaves are still intact. So we're gonna try to make this survive. This is the chocolate soldier. You can see that it got bent because of it was I think it was laying down while it was air drying. So it got bent a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that it will correct itself once it is planted. Next up is our Chihuahuanensis, which is another freebie. And our lovely rose, which dropped a lot of leaves, so that's only natural with the lovely rose. It doesn't do very well through shaping, in shaping. So it will naturally drop a lot of leaves while it is in shaping. But remember, don't hesitate to call on me for anything. Finally, we have this super bomb, and it's pretty tall, so I'm going to be planting it in a taller pot. So here they are. Like you said, a human being, I want to make you take that chance. Things have been different. 
Quite like her before.